Hello. Um, for anybody just joining us here who doesn't know what's going on, the purpose of this video is to use Mastercam's model prep tools to get rid of these two holes. I'll highlight them in a moment. Um, so the problem that we have here is that you would expect to be able to go model prep, modify feature, and just choose the two holes you're going to get rid of. Make sure it's set to remove and hit OK. But of course that doesn't work. We get a parasolid kernel. And the reason for that is these are fairly complex objects. There's a lot of compound fillets and things like that that are intersecting them. So whenever I'm working on a part like this, the very first thing I like to do is use the, um, the repair tools in here. I prefer to start with optimize over simplify. Um, I find that changes the model less, but of course, if you're doing this, you always want to back up this file or copy the model to a different level you always need to have that original there in case something changes. In this case, of course, I'm just manipulating this for the point of the video, so I'm not making a duplicate of it, but you get the idea. Now, some of those optimizations recognize that things like this flat surface doesn't need to be split in half. Some of these have redundant edges or inexact edges that it's kind of cleaning them up inside of the Parasolid database, and a lot of other things. There's 5,000 optimizations, so I'm going to hit OK, and it's going to regen the model. It'll be a lot lighter to work on and um, cleans up a lot of the little noise there. While I'm here, I'm also going to simplify. And again, the reason that I do optimize first and simplify second is because I found it makes less changes if I do it this way to the model. And there's nine simplifications. You see they're all like little edges and things like that that don't really affect us. All right. So now that we've done that, uh, I'm going to change my face color of my targets just that way we can see what we're working on. I'm gonna make them a nice dark blue because that's the default to end the lazy. So let's get rid of the additional complications of these first. I'm gonna to go to modify feature, set to remove, and make sure that I get the, the counter board down there as well as the walls. Whoops, not that one, that one, and that one. Okay, good. Enter should clean those up and give me two simplified holes. All right, now, you're going to have to treat both of these a little bit different, so I'm just going to say set my rotational point right here. Oops, can I actually get a point? There we go. All right, so I can zoom around in here. Whenever I'm working with stuff like this, I always try to figure what is going to be the easiest thing for the software to remove. <coughs> I need to remove these fillets, and then I should be able to just delete that hole is my goal. So let's start with remove fillets, see if that works for me. I'm going to try and get rid of this big weird bump thing there. That doesn't work. Let's see if I can do it with. Um, let's see if I can do it with modify feature. Ooh, doing something. Oh, that's a good start. Okay, cool. Let's get rid of these down here. All right. Nice. So I've kept that corner fillet there. All right. Let's try the same thing over here. Oops. Don't need that. And see if that's happy no that's not but maybe we can remove all of these in one fell swoop so it's but you got to follow that all the way down make sure you get those little edges all right great so that seemed to work let's see can I get rid of this now nice all right now if I needed those fillets there for whatever reason I would have to of course rebuild them but you know that solved that problem pretty easily Let's see if we can get rid of this one as easily. So let's try and delete those two. Nope, not happy with that. All right. Let's try maybe all of those at once. Oh, okay. Well, that worked. All right. And let's do the same thing over here. Um, doing something. Okay, cool. Now let's try and get rid of that hole. And there we go. That's how you can simplify it. Um, again, you'd have to rebuild the, the fillets if, um, if you needed them there for machining purposes. But, you know, the whole purpose of doing this is that way you can get a easier, smoother um, toolpath through this area without creating a bunch of auxiliary faces and things like that. So, 
Uh, one thing I would encourage if you're going to do this is make sure you're saving often because one problem here is if you hit undo, oops, mine's not even displaying undo for the moment, but if you hit undo, you're going to lose all of the model prep changes that you did. So there you go. Thanks for watching.